done something interesting? So the facial expression that you'll be seeing him making now is super, super unique. So this is known as Fleming Grimace. I know, I know it's a big word, but it just basically describes the facial expression that this male is making. And it's by means of him smelling the urine of the females. It is usually performed by males in reaction to the urine that they're smelling of the females or during ritualized male interactions when there's females nearby. But females can also do the exact same facial expression. Is it one of them? Is it one of the girls? Come on, boy. Oh, yes. We're on the trail. Can you smell him? So you might be asking yourself, what am I doing? Why am I just walking beside this random cheetah? Now, today is going to be quite an interesting episode, I think. Um, as you can see right here next to me, it's Chucky, the main man. The guy that is always trying to kill me from behind <laughs> and i just honestly love him to bits he's probably one of my favorite and i know you're not allowed to actually have favorites but um he's just always been a sweetheart to me and i just really really adore him uh, even if we don't see eye to eye sometimes so what you will see happening is extremely interesting for those of you that never get the time to actually just sit back and observe animals uh, it can even be your house cat your dog or whatever and just try and pick up some of the body language that they're trying to display so chucks over here is on a mission like literally on a mission this morning we've probably walked about i'd say 800 meters and he is just constantly exploring and smelling and looking for the female so he's heading off in all different types of directions smelling the grass and smelling if he can pick up a scent from the females and you would often actually pick up where he finds either where they urinated or defecated and he's just smelling along the cheetahs they are solitary animals so they don't walk in pairs but if there's another male in the territory they do fight and obviously trying to distinguish who is the main or the alpha or the dominant male in the area which we don't really want to see today but uh if it does come to that point we'll just have to wait and see what happens i gotta play catch up call him boy call him where are they <laughs> Bro, where are we going? We are four by fouring. Bro, this cheetah. It's off roading. <laughs> I could listen to that sound every day. Oh, that's a strong scent. And you can even see where he's smelling. It's very flat, which means that they possibly lie down here somewhere. Oh. Oh, and I smell something, yeah. I smell something pungent. Could be. Some of their feces. No. No. You're on them. You got her. No. Come on, let's go find her, man. Let's go and find her. This is a good scent. Oh, this is a good scent. I don't know if anybody has ever said this, but following a cheetah is actually quite tiring, bro. This guy is moving. <laughs> He's just calling all the way. So I actually just distanced myself a little bit more from him. Because even though he's not bothered with me being this close to him and obviously following him, he only has one thing on his mind. I just do want to give him that extra distance to see where he's going and just observe a little bit more of his behavior. I don't know if we're actually going to be able to find one of them. Um, but by the looks of it, he is strong on the scent and he's vocalizing the whole time. Which means we're hopefully heading in the right direction. All I need to do is just keep my eyes on where I'm walking because this area is actually full of dangerous venomous snakes. In the lines of puff adders, Mozambique spitting cobras, snouted cobras, and you name it. So you don't want to step on one of them. But we're getting actually a little bit behind.
Yeah, like honestly, we've been going at this for how long? Come on, Otto, just take a break. Rest in the shade, man. <laughs> All right, we'll carry on. Suit yourself. <laughs> Bro, so we've been actually going on about this for hours now. Not really, like an hour and a half. And uh, what possibly could have happened is they just lost each other during night. And uh, he's basically backtracking where he last picked up his scent. So we've been going on in circles the whole time trying to find his lady. And uh, she's here somewhere. But obviously we're looking in the wrong place at the moment. So this might even last the whole day where he's trying to find these females. And eventually he will. But for the time being, we can let him be. Maybe come and check up on him a little bit later. See if he actually found the girls. But I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this type of video. It's a little bit different. I just wanted to actually spend some time with him and see how he's doing and obviously what he's up to. And I thought I'd bring you guys along. I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did at any point, please hit the like button. If you want to see more of this type of content, please make sure to leave it in the comments down below. And if you want to keep supporting your boy, please make sure to subscribe. Turn on your post notice. We're going to try and do more of this content more often. But man, I'm parched. I'm going to go find some shade, drink something and call it a day. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Catch you guys later. Again. Look who we have here. So it's maybe about a, a few hours later and Chucks has did it. He found the girl. Huh, Chucks? But obviously he's now not more focused on finding the girls because he did. And he's just wondering why am I touching his girl.